Family, family. What's going on, family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? Y'all know we back in this thing with another one, man. And to keep it real with y'all, I know y'all been seeing a lot of the content changing up on the platform, man. I've been doing a lot less of speaking on things that don't have substance and trying to give y'all more substance. But I know this is the content y'all like. So I'm going to give y'all what y'all need to fuel y'all, you know. But on the cool, I just want y'all to know that we hitting the transition and I'm trying to give y'all things, news that y'all can use, a lot more substance, a lot more things that y'all can take with y'all, you know, uh, throughout the rest of your life, man. You know, if it's something I can give y'all from y'all coming here and uh, actually rocking out with me for a while, I hope it's something that you can take with you that'll help you grow for the rest of your life, homie. And that's it. That's all. You know, as long as I can get that one thing across, I think my purpose is fulfilled. You feel me? On the cool. But we got a bunch to talk about, man. As I've been flooded on a coup for the past couple of days with people asking me to speak on this PY and NBA Young Boy situation. And y'all know I'm most definitely finna get down to the nit and grit of it all. You know, we gotta we gotta rock out about this, man. On the coup. But before we do that, man, we also gotta speak on a situation that happened not too long ago with one of C Max homegirls in Rennie Lope. Y'all know her. She ain't new to the channel. I told y'all she had a few things that she said about YB. And one of those things was, y'all remember that video, the throwback video, the one that went viral of him speaking on Boulevard Quick, talking down on his mama. His response video had millions of views. Well, she decided to share that and she had something to say about that little video. She spotted something that we're going to clear up. So let's check out the video, then see what she had to say. Alone. I hope y'all stupid know that. This internet ain't for long. Y'all finna be out. And if y'all look right back there in the background, what you will see is a man in the bed raising up out of the bed. Now, before we get into exactly what that is, I'm sure a lot of y'all know, this is what she had to say about all this. Rennie Loke says, Wait, I might be thrown off a little. LMA, yo. But is that a man laid up in the back? Like he ready for daddy to get in the bed with him? So on the gas, shit. really insinuating that this man YB is an undercover brother in the closet. He got a man laid up in his bed in his hotel room waiting on him to come back. And there was a lot of responses from this from a lot of people from her hood. She from neighborhood. They don't really know too much about YB and the 4K trays. So, I mean, yeah, this one right here, they got all the way incorrect. First off, that is NBA Michi. NBA Michi is YB's big cousin. As most of y'all know that have clicked on this video, but the people who created this narrative, they didn't know. That's his cousin. Now, why are they sharing a hotel room? I don't know. You have people asking the question, if he's a millionaire, why not get more than one hotel room? I don't know that question, but what I do know is they are cousins. So I'm, I'm more than positive that they don't have nothing weird going on. And if you look at the full spectrum of the video, you'll see that there is two bedrooms in that room. And I believe at the beginning of that video, YB was sitting on the opposite bed, got up and then went to the table or whatever that was, desk, whatever it was. And then, you know, started chopping it up with the people. Overall, though, they are cousins. You feel me? There ain't nothing weird going on there. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And let's move on. In this next situation, man, we all know that YB and P Youngin, they've been sending a lot of jabs at each other, man, back and forth. So these latest remarks coming by way of PY really aren't that unexpected, you feel me? We all know PY, his attitude. The man is a very disrespectful dude, you feel me? That nigga ran so many times, he made a diss, but he cannot respond. He cannot make no more music. He can make it sit Also, allow me to refresh y'all memory for the ones who forgot when P.Y. said on his P. Youngin page, P. Youngin is not 4K Trey. Let y'all know, he not with that anymore. 
So it's expected that they taking jabs at each other. Hey, YB took jabs at him in an unreleased song, this one. YB put that all out on the table And as we all know P.Y. and Lil Rock Love to wear them vests So everything was a little jab And y'all know when it comes to YB's jabs He put layers upon layers Now this is all alleged And it's just rap beef on wax once again Y'all already know that man These men like to rap and beef on wax They bring in revenue They are part of the same camp They just generating the internet beef To get everybody talking And bring more attention to them but of course, P.Y., he had a few things that he said around this same time in response to NBA Youngboy. Hey, y'all wrong, man. Hey, fuck off, nigga. Yeah, dog. Hey, y'all wrong, man. Hey, fuck off, nigga. And at the same time, he put out a post where he got real disrespectful towards Lil Dump and said, stop calling my phone and slide for your uncle, talking down on this man's deceased uncle and whatnot. And we know every song since then really been jabs taken back at yb and lil dump make me do you bad i hit the gas hope i don't crash i be stressing in my heart because i be thinking about my man he got bust up with his case and fuck that nigga he ain't my friend i be strapped up at daylight at night i pray the house can spin so once again it's no surprise to see py coming like he coming getting sideways with all the 4k trays trying to get on tops and whatnot the man seemed to be bitter about that and decided to take more jabs at big dump by getting under Lil dumps post and putting this up you ain't no gangster you just a ninja worker with 14 replies on that 36 likes and whatnot those are a small minority group of 4k Trey fans who believe that yb and py will one day rekindle this friendship and business relationship but i'm gonna tell y'all right now that will never happen so what y'all should do is go ahead and come over here to king ko all facts hit that subscribe turn bell notifications on all that way you know y'all can rock out with us but that went different py as he also went on to say you 23 years old calling a 24 year old your daddy py never played like that and y'all see 75 people like that because his drama is messy he getting straight to the point y'all know how py is man he loved to get messy so y'all know he was not done there of course and he puts out this post right here where he says said what he said up in the song he can't come back from that that's who you killed for dumb you ain't never hop in that car about that 
He said he took my spot. P.Y., he grew from out of that. Been out my deal with NBA. Now I'm at my best. So y'all see, he put up a little poem, a few bars, taking jabs at Lil Dump, most importantly, but also taking jabs at the 4K trades and NBA overall, saying that he's doing better without them. He's blossoming. He's spreading his wings without them. And I would call that false, honestly, if I'm being 100, man. You're not doing better without them, man. Your name was ringing a lot more bells when you were in association with YB in NBA. When he was bringing you up, when you was at his side, everybody knew you. That's what you're still making it off of. It's not off of your music. It's not off of what you're doing. There's not even too many people who can remember like real song from you. You don't have a hit. Your stardom, your entire fan base is built off of being in association with YB. And that's it. That's all. The only thing that's keeping you hot is the drama, is the beef with YB is the beef that you had with other people the beef that you was stirring up with fred obang the one you inherited all that little stuff there man it never had nothing to do with your talent and your music never had nothing to do with that that's not what's keeping you hot it's about the drama that you're willing to feed the fans that's it that's all and i'm just gonna keep it 100 on the cool because it's like little daddy is delusional or something i don't get it you know you need to understand that this is the hand that fed you and any person that will bite the hand that feeds you is a buster that's just it that's all and that's why i can't respect his movements but i understand he's a kid still so a lot of this stuff i try to do in here is just to speak some sense into him little dude whoever's advising you is advising you the wrong way you got to play your part until you become the boss you can't get mad at the boss and voice your grievances whenever you're not on that platform yet you feel me and then linking up with other dudes who haven't even established a career to diss the one who put you in the game that makes no sense you're moving wrong and this is just me trying to give you advice. This ain't got nothing to do with you calling my phone, trying to be on that rah rah tough guy. Hey, you're a kid to me. I mean, you're a grown man, but you're a kid to me. I'm not worried about none of that. Just trying to give you advice so that you can have a future. Because the route you headed down, you ain't going to make it the next 10, 15 years. All that popping on the internet, everybody ain't going to give you a pass for that. But you tricked yourself out of your position, trying to be prideful trying to tell your boss how he can move who he can sign and who he can deal with because he your op you don't like him for whatever reason hey that's your boss you can't voice those grievances you are not in that position you are not pulling in enough revenue to try to tell this man how to operate his business you can't do that you got to play your part until you get in position to make your own moves and when you make your own foundation then you can start voicing your opinion but you're not there homie so you tricked yourself out of your position due to pride. This one is all on you. You bit the hand that feeds you. Whether you like the way he was moving or not, you bit the hand that feeds you. And that is not respectable under no circumstances. This man changed your life, stamped you, co-signed you, and put you in a position that you never would have made it to on your own. And that's just what it is, bro. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, though.